Hello guys, how are you? My name is Alvaro de Ita and welcome to this new video on my YouTube channel. And um, as you know, Halloween is only a couple of days to knock in outdoors, so for that reason, uh, this video is dedicated to analyze a mini series that you can't miss on this season and which I'm completely sure you're gonna enjoy. And I'm referring to Midnight Mass, so let's begin. Midnight Mass is one of Netflix's new releases written and directed by Mike Flanagan, who was also the creator of previous projects, for example, The Haunting of Bly Manor and The Haunting of Hill House. But to be honest, uh, Flanagan's previous projects were not of my interest, but I never imagined to come across with a surprising and an amazing story as Midnight Mass. Well, the miniseries follows the character of Riley Flynn, who, after being released from prison for killing a young woman when he was drunk, uh, he decides to return home with his parents, Ed and Annie Flynn, on Crockett Island, a small island with 127 people in the middle of the ocean. One common tradition of the island is going to church every day, so for that reason, uh, Riley's parents convince him to go so he can relieve his guilt. But after the arrival of the new priest of the island, Father Paul, and after a series of inexplicable events, Riley begins to suspect about the true intentions of the priest. As the days go by, uh, the presence of Father Paul on, the, on Crockett Island becomes to get stronger uh, after he gives back the movement of his legs to a young girl and restores the joy to another woman. So for that reason, uh, everyone on the island starts to believe that uh, Father Paul is a messenger of God. Everyone except Riley who is suspicious about why the original father of Crockett Island never arrived and was replaced by Father Paul. And up to this point, we can think or we can believe that the main plot or the main idea of the series is around Satanism or even witchcraft, but that would be completely wrong. The series will take an unexpected turn when Father Paul's behavior begins to deteriorate in a very strange way, a fact that only the major and other altar boys at the church know. And this is where we come across with one of the disturbing scenes of the series. While Father Paul was giving up advice to a resident of the island, he throws him away while Broad runs on the floor. But instead of helping him, Father Paul begins to drink his blood slowly until he reaches his head and drinks more and more and more of his blood uncontrollably. So, who or what is Father Paul? This is the moment when we discover the existence of a new character of the series, the Angel, a demon with huge wings that bite Father Paul many years ago inside a dark cave. But at the moment of the attack, Father Paul was an old man, but after his encounter with the angel, uh, Father Paul was drunk again. And did you remember that I said that Riley was suspicious about why the original father of Crockett Island never arrived? Well, the truth is that he did. He is on Crockett Island right now, but with his youngest version and with new plans with the people of Crockett Island. So, when Riley decides to interrogate Father Paul about the disappearance of his friend, the one who died on the previous scene, he will find a fate worse than dead after being attacked by the angel inside the meeting room. Now, Riley is no longer an ordinary human. After realizing that he's unable to be exposing with the sunlight with his desire of drinking human blood. So, what is Riley now? Now, he's a vampire. But that will not be the worst. The worst part will be when Riley discovers that Father Paul and his few followers are planning to convert all the residents of Crockett Island into vampires. 
but before ending his life, Riley decides to tell the whole truth to his girlfriend Erin so she can warn to his parents and all the residents of Crooked Island so they can live soon, but they will succeed. Before dying, Riley could realize significant changes in his person after being attacked by the angel. The first will be his uncontrollable desire for human blood, as unlike an ordinary human being, Riley felt as if he had not eaten for a week or more. The second will be the way he will see other people, for now he will have the ability to literally see the bombardment of their blood inside them, like a kind of X-ray vision. The third and one of the most impressive effects is that Riley will be able to see every object around him, for example, houses, lights, water and other stuff, as if each of them has life itself, especially the sky, as Riley will be able to see the movement of comets and stars. After witnessing Riley's death, Erin tries to convince Riley's parents and other island residents to leave, but upon discovering that there are no more gods to leave the island and that the mass this time will be at midnight, Erin begins to suspect that something very disturbing will intensify that night. The fear will reach unimaginable degrees while at mass inside the church, Father Paul finally reveals his true nature and brings with him the angel that bites him not only to be seen, but to convert them all like him. And in the blink of an eye, the mass turns into a violent and unscrupulous massacre when all the residents, including Riley's father, Ed, are turned into vampires with no escape. Unlike Mike Flanagan's previous series, Midnight Mass is characterized as very violent in terms of plot and imagery presented at certain moments. For example, the first disturbing scene of this series is when the angel shows up for the first time and attacks Father Paul inside a dark cave with anyone to help him, while we see how slowly there is an exchange of blood between the two characters. The second scene is when the nature of Father Paul is revealed to us for the first time after drinking uncontrollably the blood of one of the island's residents, we are no longer seeing a human being, but an animal that is thirsty for blood and will do anything to satisfy himself. And the third and last scene is the slaughter horse at midnight mass, as having the doors of the church closed and preventing the exit, almost all the residents of Crockett Island become vampires while attacking each other in a sea of blood full of fear and violence. If I had the opportunity to be one of the characters of the series of Midnight Mass, I definitely will be Ed Flynn, uh, Riley's father, and maybe some of you will ask me why. Well, the truth is that this character is a man that loves his family, and he will do whatever it takes to protect his people. Even when he is converted into a vampire after the massacre inside the church in the Midnight Mass, he decides not to drink the blood of innocent people. In fact, he decides to, to use his new gift in order to protect other persons. So for that reason, definitely I will be I will be at Flynn. So, as you can see, Midnight Mass is a project that is full of surprises in every episode. If, if you have already seen it, you will understand what I'm saying, but if not, please, you can't miss this project of Mike Flanagan because it's so cool and I think it's better than The Haunting of Hill House and The Haunting of Blind Manor. So, please, go and watch Midnight Mass. And that will be all for me. Thank you very much for seeing my new video, guys. And I will see you in the next video. And have a happy Halloween.